Yeah. Well, some traditional painting rules were challenged in this Montreal main floor makeover by Benjamin Moore. It's so great to be back in Montreal. And Sophie, you have this wonderful house project to show us. I love this house, particularly its original warm woodwork. But there was a disconnection in the house as the newer section had painted molding. So I had to find a solution to bring it all together. Yeah, I see what you mean, Sophie. With the trim painted inside in a stark white, it would be too much against that beautiful wood. So what I did is that I used the original wood and the color inspiration. I then chose the color Quietude. It's very warm, but yet it's not matchy-matchy. We didn't want to pretend that it was the wood. It's a nice contemporary color. Yes. So I applied that color everywhere on the moldings, the ceiling, and the medallion because I wanted the original mm -hmm. aspect and architectural details of the house to be at the forefront of the design. Now I know in the living room you did a bolder color on the ceiling, so let's go take a look at that. So in here I used flint. I love flint. Now that is a dark color. Was it a hard sell for the homeowners? Not at all. Although they are very traditional in the style they like, they went for it right away. So I kept that color going on to the main wall because I want to draw attention to that wall. I installed shelves that I painted the same color as the wall so we don't draw too much attention to it. And I used Quietude, the same color as in the dining room for the fireplace. I love that. Now the tile really stands out and I guess that was the inspiration point for the main wall color in here. Yes, Trend of Pearl, which is the perfect color to bring it all together. Beautiful. We're going to see more of that house in a few minutes, but Sharon is here now with a look forward. Next year is Benjamin Moore's 2020 Trend Colors. And this is a moment we wait for every year because it's really exciting to see what's happening with color. And you know what's going to work its way from decor into fashion into everything else. Absolutely, Nico. It's back and forth both ways these days, which is awesome because yes. researching for color design trends is so exciting now. Um, but for 2020, yeah. Benjamin Moore launched 20, uh, 20 colors. No, we didn't. We launched 10. <laughs> we launched 10 colors yeah. that really, we feel that they're going to really set the stage for not just 2020, but for the next Beyond. decade. So you can sort of see them all behind me. We've got These rich, saturated, ten. traditional colors, light and airy. But of course, there's always one color, yes. our color of the year, that really em embodies what we feel we're going to be thinking about for home for 2020 and for the rest of the decade. So I had the audience do some guesses. Mm -hmm. They were throwing out, it's going to be green, it's going to be aqua, what's it going to be? So the 2020 Benjamin Moore color of the year is... First light. First light! First light. First light! Very so optimistic. We are going really for a pink. very soft palette. Like that is a very light, light pink. It is. And I think we're ready to have pink as this, not relegating it to the little girl's bedroom or to yes. the powder room. We're really seeing it embraced as a backdrop color to so many other things that are going on in dining right. rooms. Um, living room. I'm going to talk about a set that I have here um, later today to really talk about first light yeah. in, a, in, in an exciting room where we're not used to thinking of it. So we're seeing some unexpected pairings, but yeah. pink is really that backdrop to everything. And you can see how it works with the entire palette. And that's really what I wanted to focus on right now is the entire palette of 10 colors, because I know everybody will find something in there that really, that, that they're they drawn love. to, something that's calling them, you know, for yes. a project. So on that note, Tracy, anything that you're drawn to immediately? Oh my goodness. So I, for some reason, this is what jumps oh, out to me. I love and this it. is, it's completely off brand for me. Wow. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. I know. It's gorgeous. There's something very calming, calming about it, but at the same time, it's vibrant. Yes. So I think that's beautiful. Would I use it? I don't know. Where do well, I use you it, know Sharon? What? That's windmill wings, that's which beautiful. is a very, it, it kind of glows, doesn't yes. it, for a blue. The thing that I, I love about the, the way that we put the palette together this year is also how they kind of work together so you can take something that might be a little more you know exciting a little more dynamic for you but you could maybe use this on your ceiling you could use oh, this yeah. in you could definitely use this in a bedroom you could use it as an accent wall with you know a darker more sophisticated denim like yes. the Oxford gray yeah and then even if you think about these dark saturated colors this is blue Danube mm. I had to research how to say that properly Danube, Danube. yes um, and again to me that kind of acts like that dark charcoal or black like that kind of anchoring color so right. again you throw something light and airy with it and you get this really fun feel so again you can also be monochromatic right yes. so we've done the blues we've done sort of the bluey green that's mm -hmm. buxed 
in blue, and then blue Danube. Um, the greens, again, so you can kind of play with that monochromatic feel or mix and match. You've got something that's a little more light and Indeed. sort of nature-inspired yes. and a bit more grounding and traditional. Yeah. Um, for the neutral, though, the real sort of traditional neutral, we chose Thunder, which is... I love it for its warmth and its coolness at it's the same so time. Both. It's, it's like a putty color. And what's yeah. interesting to me is that it's really the only gray-ish exactly. tone here. So we're moving. We're and, moving and, and, sort of and away. And that is definitely with intention. I think we're ready to embrace color yes. in a fresh way. Yeah. And I think the thing, when we're working on our research our research for the Trends palette, we're looking 12 to 18 months in advance. Yeah. So we're looking at fashion. We're looking yeah. at street fashion, high fashion fine art. Mm -hmm. We're definitely looking at furnishings, but it's always really reassuring when it comes launch time when we go out in the marketplace and actually see a lot of the colors. Yes. So, and, and that's what I want to talk about because it is obviously home decor is what we're talking about and the home is so important for us, but you're really seeing these colors play yeah. from, you know, from the runways into your home. So white heron is our white that's a little warmer it's beautiful. this year. So you kind of see how it's reflected um, with a little bit of yellow, but it's all about texture. That's right. And that goes with, I mean, it goes and with anything on the wall and that's that's sort of what you have to think about they all play they well all together play well together when you look at the whole spectrum of them lying out here you can see how you could have them all in one space in yes. one house or maybe even an outfit so first light again all about texture but you're seeing it in glassware nice. so it's more um, sort of luminescent. Mm -hmm. The golden straw is something we've been seeing in fashion for Big a time. while, but more ochre. So it's exciting to see it a little bit more deep. soft. Yeah, going from the deep and then going to the, to the sort of grayed muted. Thunder again, so it's, nice. it's warming gray. So yes. we're seeing gray warm. And then crystalline, this really pretty effervescent sort of jade Lovely. tone that's silvery, so still works with those grays. Mm -hmm. and, then I, and then again, working all the way through the greens, and you can sort of see how you go up to the cushing green in in and um, fashion in items. Fashion. So who was it that said green? And I think they said green you because people, right? we're, it's having a moment in fashion. But green is going to stay hot. Lots of green. It's going to be a lot of green. Yeah. We need decor. green to bring us into the next decade. I think it's very yeah. you know it's so it's, it's life earthy and right? neutral. Absolutely. And then the blues from the Oxford gray to that beautiful windmill wing that it's you lovely. like, Tracy. And I think that that is like one of those colors that really pops out on the palette. Yes. As something new and exciting. And again, the green blues we can't get enough. So from mm. Buxton Blue, um, Blue Danube, and I got that gorgeous throw from oh. Home Society. I just, honestly, this everybody so just wants good. to lay down on it. But again, yeah. I think that's really what we're thinking about for home. Yes. Definitely for 2020 and beyond is comfort, security, yeah. warmth, and all of these colors are going to bring that to your space. See, so. comfort, security, warmth. We're going to talk a little bit more about the psychology of the yes. color of the year a bit later because that's what I'm so interested right? in. You can try out the 2020 trend colors or really any Benjamin Moore color because Sharon has brought gift certificates for one gallon of paint. All of you, enjoy that, get painting, and stay with us because we'll be right back.